my uh, Monday 45 minutes on week four. That's right, guys. Week four, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, COVID, the Rona, a week three was null and void. So we're just gonna skip it completely and push right along to week four. So we have 45 minutes out here at the beautiful Art of Animation Resort, Hourglass Lake behind me. This loop around Hourglass Lake is 1.3, I believe. And because we are here at the Art of Animation, I wanted to get this 45 minutes in. It is 11.30, it is blazing hot. This is probably not the most perfect time to be in a training run walk because it is, again, like the hottest part of the day. Because of previous week, we're gonna take it nice and easy and just make this loop and uh, get that 45 minutes in because we committed to it. As I mentioned in my Art of Animation video, along this running trail are fun facts depending on which resort you're at. So we're now on the Pop Century side, so fun fact about 1999, as the year 2000 approaches, with a wink and a smile, the world awaits for Y2K. Across the way, at the Art of Animation, they have signs like this, but they are related to the films of the building it is next to. So you get little animation history, and then pop century, you get history history. Depending on which way you're running, depends on which years you see. So if you're running this direction, toward pop century, you get the uh, odd years. If you're running away from Bob Century, you get the even years. Did you know Beanie Babies were born in 1993? The fun Disney related one, uh, RIP title. You didn't know this run was gonna be a history lesson, did you? I'm a huge fan of TV useless knowledge. So this is a kind of a fun fact. 125 million viewers for the last episode of MASH. 83. 41 years ago. Because that's how old I am. 41. Did you know that? Did you know that I was 41? Now you do. We've jumped about 10 years in Fun Facts 1971 while Disney World opens Orlando, Florida. Also, Intel produces the first micro microprocessor chip. Like also a fun Neville fact, the Nevilles used to live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where there is a giant Intel plant, lab, creative space, where Intel is. All right, we are more than halfway around, but we are directly across from where we began. A pretty picturesque view at the moment. Uh, we have the Skyliner, across the way over there is the Little Mermaid set of buildings, and then the Lion King set of buildings. So 45 minutes should be about three laps of this. Maybe a little more or less. Uh, the first lap we're taking nice and slow so I can film all the stuff for you and show you where we are and all the things. Lap two and three will be a little more, you know, training. Skyliner is the dividing point, right? Pop Century to uh, that side of the Skyliner and of course Art of Animation over here. And we are just entering, we're just inside the, the mermaid section. We are at the one mile mark. So this is your one mile marker-ish. Um, give or take a few steps probably. I mean, beautiful. So as mentioned on the Art of Animation side, uh, all of the plaques change from um, uh, pop culture fun facts to film fun facts. I do love that the plaques on both sides have information on both sides, so depending on which way you're running, you get to learn something. We, of course, have shifted from Lion King into Finding Nemo. Um, and we're almost back where we started from.
confirming that yes, the loop is 1.3 all the way around. He's done one loop about 20 minutes. Uh, Cause you know, we're doing a history lesson. Let's work a little. It, it might be too hot to work a lot. So we're gonna work a little bit. Oh, guys, it is too hot. It's bringing the work and the heat. Holy moly. All right, so here in week four, it is a 45, a 45, and a 5.5 miles on Saturday. This is Monday, your history lesson. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up nicely, and I'll let you know in Thursday, Thursday's portion, how we did for right now. Guys, thank you for uh, for coming along to Art of Animation and Pop Century with me. Good morning. It is uh, Saturday, July 23rd. Week four, day three. We have skipped day two. Uh, but we're out here and we're doing it. Um, uh, in a bit of a uh, warm up at the moment, just getting out and getting the legs stretched and whatnot before we uh, dive into these intervals. Do you know one, one? Uh, Assignment for the day is five and a half miles. We are doing a neighborhood run today, just neighborhood, because I don't know, it's too early and I don't feel like running outside and, or going beyond the gates rather. I was doing outside. Just after, right around 7.30 or so, work at 11, so gotta get it in. Gotta get it in and do it, so. This is, this is me before my haircut. This is me before, I'll see you after. Uh, just kidding. Feels right to go out the gate. Do a, out and back. That uh, sun, it's a prime spot right now. Five and a half, regardless of how, get it done. Regardless of how. Two and a half mile out. It's time to turn around. We go home. Home should be five miles. And then I know where an extra half is from there. But we're gonna take the back slightly. You know what? No, we're not gonna take it easier. We're gonna we're gonna work because that's what we committed to do, right? In that realm of history lesson. Followed. If you've watched, you know that I am a slightly overachiever, slightly competitive. Shortcuts don't get you anywhere. We got 40, 48.6 miles to run in January. Cutting, cutting the short of taking it easy is not an option anymore. COVID or not, hard to breathe or not, tight muscles or not. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep pushing. So we push. And ironically, Kelly Clarkson's stronger is in my head. That could be why I'm saying all this. Who knows? Could be delirium. I'm not sure. Truth matter is, <laughs> we got three more miles to go. Let's keep going. I'm not sure what's worse, having the sun in your face or pounding 
at your back. My ass is on fire, Jesus. History lesson indeed. My goal through this process, and it's only been four weeks, my goal was to reach four miles an hour. And yeah, and I just did it on the dot. And that was with a lot of struggle, which means we're gonna be okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do hard things. Question goals one at a time. So, the thought just struck my brain. As amazing and as thankful as I am for the achievement of the four miles in one hour, the realization of now having to keep that up um, for multiple hours, uh, well, that just sank in. That just sank in. But the fact that I, I did it, done it once, which means I can do it again, which means I can do it again, which means, so the next goal is to, two goals, really. A, goal A is to do two consecutive four mile hours and, or B, get that to five miles an hour and then keep that up consecutively. So we just keep pushing, right? We just keep learning and we keep pushing. Not too hard, don't wanna hurt yourself. You wanna keep striving for the next, striving for the next lesson. What did I learn on this one? A lot of things, including I need to figure out bringing hydration with me because I am uh, I'm dying. Not dying, but I definitely use some water. Looking forward to that shower. Guys, this is week four, Monday, Saturday. We'll see you week five. Thanks for your time and attention. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Hope you're enjoying the Joby Diaries and this journey. Hope your motivation and support is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to donate to my uh, uh, fundraiser campaign for Kelsey's Hope Foundation, those links are in the description below. As always, any donation is greatly appreciated. <sighs> it's a good day to have a good day. See you guys later.